Look at that. That is the biggest crowd MTV has ever, ever had. You're looking at a live shot at 1515 Broadway in Times Square. I don't have any communication. Look at that overview. That is incredible. Wow. Usually on a Sunday afternoon, you can see tumbleweed going down. Not today, the Backstreet Boys, live in our studios, our guests, and we couldn't be happier. Welcome back to Backstreet Boys Live from Carson Daly. I'm with the Backstreet Boys now, and I do want to mention that we are on uh, live in Italy. So we're going to say hello to... Hello, Italia! Italians. Ciao. Uh, we're here with the guys, yes, of course. Uh, and we're going to talk to Tiffany now. Tiffany has called in. Tiffany, are you there? Hi, Carson. Hi, Backstreet Boys. I love you guys. I love you, Howie. <laughs> Thank you. See, now you're a big actor, hey. see? China. <laughs> yeah. Tiffany, what's your question? Um, I was wondering, everybody knows that the new CD is called Millennium. Well, are you guys going to be having, like, a big uh, New Year's concert to celebrate the Millennium? We, uh, we haven't really made, made plans that far in advance yet. We're trying to, to plan our schedule out so we can... We're planning a big world tour, so we're trying to get around to all, our, all the countries on the tour. Uh, so we really haven't made plans for that yet. Uh, we've been working every, in the past six New Year's Eves, we've been working. So, I don't know, we, it might be a time to, for us to maybe just be with our family Well, there friends. is no better place to ring in the Millennium than right here. So, <laughs> if you, if you want to come in and have maybe a Maybe we'll be right here in Times Square. Yeah. You know. We would love to have you. Yeah, I wish you guys could celebrate it here in Phoenix, though. You're calling for Phoenix, Phoenix Arizona. Yeah, bad chance, Tiff. Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah. That's what we did that dude ranch ride. Th thank you, Tiffany. Thank you, Tiffany. Thank you. Thanks, Tiffany. Bye. Bye. Some of your uh, some of your biggest fans are in Europe, and we, um, we of course we have MTVs all over the world, and um, we went out to the streets in Europe, and some of your fans there would right now like to ask you some questions. Let's watch cool. the monitor right now. Excellent. Hi, my name is Alex. I came from Naples, Italy, and I wanted to ask you guys, um, how do you feel you've changed since the beginning as an artist and human beings? I don't think we really changed as human beings. I mean, I can pretty much speak on behalf of the guys. I mean, I think we're very, you know, very well grounded. You know, um, you know our feet are still on the ground, even, with the, even though we've been very fortunate to have a lot of success. <laughs> Especially Nick, he wears those heavy shoes. Yeah, so, uh, as Nick just demonstrated. But, um, I mean, I guess it's because, you know, we've come from... <laughs> we've, uh... <laughs> We come from, I guess, really good families, and all of our families, and, and along with each other, we all keep each other in check and in line. That's got to help um, too. The whole definitely, brotherhood. But I'd say time-wise, oh, yeah, we don't let each other's changed. heads get too swollen. We knock no. each other down pretty good. <laughs> I know we've, I know we've grown as artists, you know, because this is this is our craft, um, being an artist and being a singer, um, songwriter, whatever, and um, we've had experiences that we'll take with us, you know, for the rest of our lives. Because when you spend a hundred. 100% of your time doing this, you know, if you're not getting better, you're getting you're worse. Getting worse. Right. So exactly. we're, trying to, so get we're trying to just always, uh, not necessarily outdo ourselves, but just keep up with ourselves. And so continue to, to grow, which you're definitely doing. We're going to take a look at uh, another question coming uh, from Europe. Watch your monitor there. Hi, I'm Sally from Leamington Spa. I think you're really funky dancers, and I want to know, who's your choreographer? Um, do you do all your moves yourselves? Because they're so good. What the hell did she say? <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell! Who's our choreographer? Speak English! I think you're a really funky dancer. That's right. Who's your choreographer? You're all right. Who's who? It's all right. Don't right. take the Mickey Brian. I couldn't understand the rest I'm of it. I like that it. thing you do in the video. It's beautiful. I love it well, so like much. It. Smash it. So how much time do you got? Yeah, baby, yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, uh, we feel like we're... We feel like our forte is our singing more than mo more so than our dancing. But uh, we have a great choreographer who's been working with us for for a while, Fatima Robinson. <laughs> she, oh, yeah, huh? she, been, she does. She works with everybody. She started out. I think her big break was when she did uh, Michael Jackson's "Remember the Times" did video. Yeah. And uh, so uh, she she helps us. She helps us do our thing and. She's helped us grow as as performers and as dancers as well. So. She just did the Will Smith's uh, Wild Wild West. Wow, that's yeah, a hell of a video. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of those like dancers that are in the video. 
are in are coming out on tour with us. Oh, oh, they're, tour, in our, yeah. they're in a lot of our videos it's also. Be a great tour. Awesome. Um, for everybody at home, I mean, I can I can attest to this. The last couple of weeks of hosting TRL, the mail I've gotten, I've mean, received every piece of bribery. They're available <laughs> to be sitting right here, right now, live with the Backstreet Boys. And I wanna. I do want to I do want to acknowledge uh, how many wonderful people wrote amazing letters and, and parents trying to hook up their kids and everything and I and I thank you for that and so I'm sure do they. Thank um, you. To get into this room though, believe me, it took something special. All of these people, all of these people sent in videotapes, and literally hundreds of people actually came down to our studios and had to literally go through a Backstreet Boys quiz, a test. Ooh. It's tough work to be in here today, and if you don't believe me, just take a look at this. Just the melodies that they could do, I was, I was like, I want to be that. I want to be a Backstreet Boy. Is that so much to ask? Oh, my God. AJ, you inspired me. Look. Please, please let us be on your Backstreet Boys special. Backstreet Boys! Hey, me, Backstreet Boys, because I love you! What up, everybody? We are the boys. Put your hands together and make some noise. Yeah! 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 so I can stop living this fantasy with her because she's annoying me now. I'm gonna go see my mom who really doesn't want to be on camera, but she has to tell you what she always says, and I swear to God she says this. Mommy, what do you always say? Nick's got the cutest butt and the vacuum boys at the bomb. But Kevin, I love you, and my daughter wants you to marry her mom. I know everything about the Bachelor Boys. I know that Nick's feet smell like and smell as bad as the cheese on his pizza. I know that Kevin sleeps naked. I know that Howie's favorite color is purple, and he loves purple on women. Which Backstreet Boy is a licensed scuba diver? Nick Carter. What's Kevin's middle name? Scott. Okay, who's the biggest flirt? Biggest AJ! AJ! <laughs> what type of food does Howie like? Chinese. Who's afraid of heights? Brian. What's Kevin's past name? Quincy. Who's afraid of heights? The Backstreet fans. Some of which wow. that was really here good. today. Great job, guys. Awesome. What are your comments and, and thoughts as you watch something like that? That's an, that is it's overwhelming. Man. Wow. That is unbelievable. unbelievable. They That's really do know flattering. everything. I mean, they really yeah. do. It's sort 17. of frightening. <laughs> um, I you like Nick's butt. I, yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't? What do you know? <laughs> uh, I do want to acknowledge. Um, Hang on, hang on one second. We'll get to Nick's butt in a minute. Um, no, we won't. Uh, yeah, I want to acknowledge um, Kim Perkuski. Kim, where are you? Did I get your name right there? Perkuski. Perkuski, excuse yeah. me. You That's traveled it. the furthest of anybody in the room, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, how, where did you come from? And tell us about your trip. Monroe, Wisconsin. It was about um, a thousand miles or so. And wow. you drove. Yeah. When did you leave? Um, we left Saturday night about 10 o'clock. And you just drove straight through. Yeah, my dad did. Well, it took you about 12 hours. Mm -hmm. Thank about 16. Coming. 16 what, hours. What, yeah. what, what were your thoughts on the on the drive here? <laughs> what were your thoughts, Kim, on the drive here, knowing that today was going to happen for you? I was still in shock. I am so excited. I'm like so happy to be here. Well, you thank came you a long way, and you certainly yeah. deserve to ask the guys a question. So. Well, thank you for oh, coming all that thank way. You. Thank First you. Time. And thanks thank to your you. dad for driving. Yeah, yeah. He's out there somewhere. I bet she was like this. <laughs> <laughs> Backstreet Boys. <laughs> 
Um, how would you compare Millennium to Backstreet Boys? I think it's um, definitely a growth for it's us. A, it's, uh, a, it's a big growth for us. I mean, compared to the first album, it's a new I one. I mean, vocally, it was a lot more challenging. Um, a lot of the words, Lyrics, lyrically, is a whole lot deeper. And it just means a whole lot, it's a lot more personal to us because a couple of the songs were written by some of us. Kevin wrote a song, Back to Your Heart. Brian wrote The Perfect Fame. So it's like, it's just a more personal album. And on top of that, the album is also dedicated to Dennis Pop, who was one of our producers who passed away last year. So it's definitely something deep for us. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to take a break. When we get back, we're going to continue to talk about the album that everybody's going to rush out and get Monday night at midnight. More with the Backstreet Boys live on MTV with the biggest crowd we've ever had in our Times Square studio. We'll talk about Millennium with the guys next. Stick around.